What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and I'm really thankful that you chose to tune in today. Whether you're here on YouTube, you're using Rumble, BitChute, Parlor, or Odyssey, I'm really glad. And I only ask and hope that today will be the day I earn your subscription. There's a red subscribe button right down below. It just makes finding my videos easier. I know I upload a bunch every day, but I'm confident that at least a few of them will entertain you and be of interest. So whatever platform you're on, please subscribe today. Now I've been covering Amber Heard for quite some time and some new news has come out. In fact, she has responded to the petition of over 1 million people demanding her termination from the Aquaman 2 film franchise or the Aquaman film franchise and a new update on her actual contract which appears to show she literally can't be fired. Now, she calls the campaign, in fact, stupid. And the petition stupid. You can see this article on the wrap. Aquaman 2 stupid petition to get Amber Heard fired definitely failed, actress says. She referred to them as, quote, paid rumors and paid campaigns on social media don't dictate casting decisions because they have no basis in reality. Well, except they do. Um, shocking no one, a petition attempting to get Amber Heard fired from Aquaman 2 did not succeed, and the actress will be returning as Mara in the follow-up to 2018's billion-dollar hit Aquaman. Shortly after, Heard's, uh, Heard's ex was forced by Warner Brothers to quit Fantastic Beasts 3 last week, a change.org petition was established. Actually, this has been around for a very long time. Great research, the rap. So far, it's received more than 1 million signatures. Um, there are also been persistent and, of course, completely baseless rumors um, in recent months that she'll be removed from the role. Oh, no, I don't think, nor have I ever thought, for even one moment, that, she, that justice would actually be served. I never thought for one second that things would end up fair for the man in this situation. Nobody did. By the way, smash like if you're not surprised by this. The idea that over one million people uh, want you removed isn't going to bode well for PR. You can tut down at the normies, at, at the people that wanted justice all you wanted, all you want, but here's what's going to happen. Over a million people are going to mobilize when you start advertising this film. And every single tweet that you put out, every single tweet that Warner Brothers puts out, every single tweet that your co-stars Jason Momoa puts out is going to be flooded with people reminding everyone of the irrefutable evidence of your terribleness, including audio recordings, video recordings, and sworn testimony. But speaking to Entertainment Weekly, Herds confirmed she definitely is returning for the sequel and noted that neither the rumors nor the petition in which she implied are part of an astroturfing campaign had any impact on production. I'm super excited about a fan love and amount of fan appreciation that Aquaman has acquired and that has garnered so much excitement for Aquaman and Mera that it means we'll be coming back, Heard told EW. I'm excited to film that, by the way, her character isn't even really a main, a big role in the film. Paid rumors and paid campaigns on social media don't dictate casting decisions because they have no basis in reality, she added. Only the fans actually made Aquaman and Aquaman 2 happen, and I'm excited to get started next year. Well, I'm excited too. I literally cannot wait until Warner Brothers starts promoting. And we get to remind everybody of just how amazing of a person you are. Just have all the sordid history and all the unfairness uh that happened to your ex. It's going to come out. And it's going to continue to come out. And Warner Brothers is going to lose millions at the box office. Sure, the film's still going to do well. Do you think the Chinese market cares about this? No. Do you think the, 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 the overall you know, global market is going to care about this. No, but I absolutely believe you're going to take a hit in the Western markets in the United States in particular, and in the UK. Obviously we know everything that happened in the courts. Aquaman two will open December 16th, 2022 along with 
Uh, Heard as Mera, the film will once again star Jason Momoa as Arthur Curry in Aquaman and will feature the return of director James Wan and co-stars William Dafoe, Patrick Wilson, Nicole Kidman. Dolph Lundgren, and others. Aquaman earned $1.13 billion worldwide when it opened ahead of the Christmas holiday in 2018, ranking it the first DC film to cross that earnings milestone since The Dark Knight Rises. I don't believe this film will make a billion dollars. I feel very confident in saying that this film will not make a billion dollars. Now, if something major changes and we've got big releases coming up that have been delayed, obviously the Batman, that's a, a film that a lot of people are, are, are cautiously optimistic for. You've got a quiet place too, which looks quite good. In my opinion, I thought a quiet place was a very good film. Um, you have obviously the remake, the destruction of Candyman, which I'm sure will be garbage. Um, Tenet, still a lot of people haven't seen. Wonder Woman 1984, still looks like WB might give up on that film and might try to release it to HBO Max. I don't know if I would do that. I think Wonder Woman, again, I don't think that the retro wave, the 80s wave thing is... I think that's kind of played out. It's not really exciting to me to see another thing made in the 80s. Um, but Wonder Woman is a great film. Gal Gadot is a, a, a above average actress. Um, and outside of her cringeworthy imagine uh, thing, has basically avoided most controversy. This article saying... After uh, Johnny was fired from Fantastic Beasts, fan petitioned for Amber Heard's removal from Aquaman 2. Of course, the petition in question is here on change.org, which now has nearly 1.5 million signatures. 1.5 million signatures. I, I just don't understand. You know, and, and there's a lot of documents here. Um, you can see over a million supporters. Do you think that this number is going to stop growing? Do you think that being smug um, and rubbing it, everybody's nose in it, that justice wasn't served, is going to uh, bode well for your film? I'd be willing to bet you that change.org will probably remove this petition. That's a prediction I have as of uh, November 17th, 2020. It's my prediction that in the run-up to advertising for this film, Warner Brothers will pull strings to get this petition removed. And should they do so, I believe that those who have signed this should, whoever is running this, absolutely uh, should be creating a backup way, a backup mailing list or a backup way to contact these people um, if this thing ends up being removed, because I don't believe that people are going to play fair in all of this. And we can look at, um, even the signature this, according to, we got this cover, which again is, uh, you know, not super reliable, but we'll see what happens here. There's been a lot of debate over the Amber Heard case in the last week or so. Um, according to screen rant, the WB cannot fire Amber Heard or even ask her to break her contract due to the legal issues involved with her dispute with her ex. In the United States, the plaintiff has to prove malicious intent by the reporter, as well as the avoidance of the truth in order to succeed in defamation of character suit. However, in the UK system, the journalist in question only has to prove to a court that they weren't acting in bad faith. In this context, winning these arguments in the United States court can be harder due to free speech provisions, meaning that it, sh it should, in theory, be easier to prove liable in the UK, that Depp was unable to do so, then outside of the ongoing appeals and other claims means that he's created a difficult position for Warner Brothers by publicly being able, being shown to not have cleared his name and being uh, what they said he was, of course. Now, for Heard, however, the situation seems more straightforward, at least legally. Even though there have there have been online petitions to have her removed from Aquaman 2, the studio simply can't break her contract without criminal charges being filed against her. Moreover, Heard can't be asked to resign in the same way that Depp was, as she hasn't lost out on any kind of civil judgment. Of course, if Johnny wins another suit in the United States and shows that his ex lied or his appeals are successful, then the WB will have to reconsider. In any case... Uh, the controversy has been ugly for both of them, and given their mutual employers, 
of a public headache in terms of not wanting to take sides. As Screen Rant does point out, though, no matter how much social media outrage may be, Warner Brothers can't justify removing Heard from her role as mayor in Aquaman 2 without setting themselves up for further trouble. For now, it's good to remember that the legal verdicts and contracts are always going to win out in these cases over public opinion. And speaking of public opinion, we've got... Johnny's co-worker Jude Law speaking out about his exit from Fantastic Beasts, calling it unusual, of course. Speaking with Entertainment Tonight, Jude Law acknowledged that the next installment of an enormous film with many layers to it, saying that in a situation like this, you defer to the studio. That's all you can do because you have to turn up your part and play it. Uh, Law, who played Albus Dumbledore in the film, continued to say, quote, It was unusual for me because, in fact, on this particular role, Johnny had actually only done a day's filming, I think, on his own. In a franchise like this, it's a studio and a company that can make the big decisions, and you have to go along with those because we're just a member of the team. Now, in this case, there is some lore built in because his character can change his appearance. There's some lore here built in that he would probably be able to, uh, that the film would be able to explain uh, his missing from it but I believe strongly that this is still going to negatively affect the film at the box office significantly this is a lose-lose scenario for Warner Brothers they probably should have fired both of them but we know that's not how things work in Hollywood if you made it to this point in the film and the video please remember to click that like button and the red subscribe button right below it I could really use your help we're pushing hard to reach 1 million subscribers by the end of the year it's a long shot being the 17th of November we're 65,000 subscribers away we're close and I can't do it without you subscribe today and make sure to check back often as I do new videos just about every hour of every weekday including Saturdays I hope you enjoyed this video we'll talk to you again real soon